Linux got hacked. Hello everyone, my name is Ekaterina and in today's video we want to discuss the news that happened in the world of cybersecurity. There has been a massive attack on the Linux ecosystem on one of the tools that are deeply and widely used by it. Before we dive into today's material, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and let's go. First of all, I'd like to explain you what the digital supply chain is. It's a process that involves using resources, development activities, and makes the, out of them a final product. Software supply chain is needed in order to build everything from apps to the operating systems. A tool that got hacked is called XSAT. It is used for decompression files, and it is a part of a software supply chain in Linux world. This tool is used by many Linux distributions such as Ubuntu, Debian, and CentOS. It serves as a fundamental block in the open source community. Hackers that attacked the tool created a backdoor that allows them to get access without any authentication to Linux system. On March 29, a Postgre developer, Andre Freud, made the discovery that such backdoor existed. And what seemed like innocuous behavior, for example, high CPU usage or slow SSH logins turned out to be actually a massive attack. Freud was able to trace the origins of the malicious code. And at first it seemed a legitimate contribution by the XSET maintainer, who later was identified as Chia 10. But there is a kicker, it wasn't an intrusion. No, it was an elaborate multi-layer social engineering. An attack was carefully orchestrated and took few years to be implemented. And it happened right under the nose of trusting open source community. Vector was concealed cunningly by the XSAT Utils version 5.6.0 and 5.6.1. It was like a ticking bomb waiting to havoc on unsuspecting system. But open source community banded together. They patched vulnerabilities and fortified the defenses. They sent a clear message, we won't back down onto the space of adversity. So what's the takeaway of this digital saga? It's a stark reminder that software supply chain has sometimes hidden risks. Trust is a precious commodity in this world of open source, and once it's betrayed, the consequences will follow. But once we navigate this digital landscape, one thing is certain we can conquer any challenge. And with that, tech enthusiasts, I bid you a farewell. Until next time and keep those cybersecurity antennas up. Stay elegant and remember that the power of collaboration has no bounds. I hope that this video was useful for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. See you in the next videos. Bye!